So when you need bowl reds to see and fill your fly, many commercial patterns aren't big enough. This fly, the redfish toupee crab, flat out crushes big reds in Louisiana and will probably work in smaller sizes for smaller reds. As always, I put a list of materials and notes on the site to flyfish.com so I can keep everything up to date in one place. So let's get to tying. Place your 2 aught hook in the vise. Gracefully lay down a robust thread base to about the barb tip. Bring in a healthy dose of chartreuse extra select craft fur. Make some loose wraps and then weld it in with some power wraps. Fluff the tail out with some bobbin jabs. And of course we're still using lots of zappa gap. Wrap over with some thread to make it smooth. Now we're going to make some purple stripes down the tail. I like to make these babies fairly hefty and close together to subdue the chartreuse a bit. Now bring up some purple fin raccoon for a collar. We're going to spin this around by applying pressure. When you got it where you want it, make some wraps and then chop off the tags. Then wrap back over it. Now let's bring up some chartreuse orange tipped rubber legs. I use two here, split down the middle. Make sure the tips are even and then tie them down. I like to take a second to snip the tips right now. Make a few speed wraps here. Bring in the purple diamond braid and latch it down. Now flip the hook over. We're going to use some EP crustacean brushes, but we're going to flop it over like a toupee. This is indeed where the fly gets its name. It's more of a way of tying, but I really like it for crab patterns in general. It allows your crab to kill better, you use less materials, and you can add stuff below the fly. Now make sure you tie it in flat. And I start with black or the very end of the purple at the back. I like to tie in the eyes at this point so we don't have to navigate around them before this point. Drop some glue. We're going to use some flat lead here to help the fly ride right and to bulk up the body a bit. Cut it with some wire cutters and smash down the tag. Then cover it up with thread with nice even wraps. Now we're going to wrap the purple diamond braid from the back to the front. We're going to make two crisscross wraps so we've got some braid on top here. Now tie off. Add a generous amount of Zappa Gap. When this is dry, cover the bottom with acrylic. This adds a ton to the durability of the fly. Make sure to get the head and all around the body. Then hit it with the light all over. 
Now the toupee will work its magic. Flop that baby over. Bald to beautiful in the blink of an eye. Now we're going to give the fly a thorough sprucing. So make the brush flat and begin separating the fibers so you can tie down without trapping them. When you're there, use some Loctite gel on the top. Make sure to get it all over. Now position the brush and make some wraps around it. Get a few more wraps in and then pull the brush up. Cut it with some cutters. Make a nice head covering all the fibers. Then give it a whip finish of beauty. We're going to cut the sides now of the toupee. You can use a template or you can use a pre-cut fly to give you a guideline. I used curved scissors for this, but use whatever you have. Make one snip on one side and then do the same on the other. Give it a few final sprucing snips. To add extra durability to the toupee, use a flexible acrylic or silicone. Spread it down the wire in the center of the brush. You can press it in with a bodkin if you like. Now hit it with the light. After your redfish toupee crab looks good, bring in the Zappa Gap. You can use a lighter before or after the Zappa Gap, depending on if you see something before or after, like I did here. Finally, use some acrylic around the head. Beam it with the light. Make sure to get really close to it. And you're done. This fly catches big reds and small reds on the marsh in murky water or deep water. It comes in an articulated version as well and I hope it works for you. I'd love it if you subscribed and you can get a ton of awesome stuff on our site to flyfish.com as well. Thanks again.